Good afternoon, wonderful. I've been coming to this venue, I think, more than 25 years now in covering. But I must tell you, Honorable Jukumarji, this is the most interactive session that I have seen, I have come across, which brings us all into the pride that how the people of diaspora are keeping an eye on the new India, emerging India, Mera Bharat, Naya Bharat, and um, Consul General uh, Somnath Ji, uh, as two days ago also we were just talking about what has happened in White House. Now it is started seeing in real means. And uh, we saw very vibrant community over there. It was really hard for us to manage. So let's start from you. On a short span of time you manage this and this is one of the most auspicious, I can say that, interactive session that I've seen with the community. Thank you very much. My greetings to TV Asia viewers. Yes, you are right. Just about three days ago, there was a IIT Mumbai Alumni Association and they asked me to speak. And I, it was a privilege to me. I was thinking what I should speak. But then suddenly I realized the most important thing that uh, happened in recent time was the summit visit. And if you look at the summit document, that contains everything. It's a vision document. It's not just a statement. It's a vision document. And it's full of, you know, uh, the visionary uh, steps of what we should do in the technology and technology related area. So I spoke, you were there, I spoke on that. And uh, about Dr. Ajay Kumar's visit here, it has a very interesting sort of, you know, story. He was, he, he's actually here for a for an event on the West Coast in the near San Francisco and uh, in another organization called him. So when I heard that he is coming, we worked together. He was defense secretary. He was in the Ministry of Defense. So when I heard that he is coming, I realized it's a it's a great opportunity for me to brief the enthusiasts here, particularly the Indian diaspora, on the innovation ecosystem, on defense industry, and also on what US India together doing in defense is a very important subject, and no one could be better than him uh, to talk about it. So he was very kind to. Just it's a it's actually a day's diversion. He came yesterday evening. He's leaving tomorrow morning. You have heard his uh, presentation and long question and session, which was really really eye opener uh, here in the consulate. And after about uh, an hour, we are going to the Chicago Council for World for Global Affairs. They have invited him for a roundtable on uh, the India USA defense cooperation the depth and the breadth of which is surprising and sometimes we need to talk about it because th there is not really a full appreciation of that so we are excited we are looking forward to that talk from goa shipyard a defense psu and h block my background you know as we talk about with me is the ex defense secretary defense production and dr ajay ji we welcome you to tv asia i must say that because you brought all inside what has happened in these periods. I'm here in this country almost more than three decades now. Lot has changed, lot much to come. The people, the engagement of the diaspora. First, let's hear from you. How did you feel? Were you expecting this from so many questions? I think the question answer session was so in depth that people are aware of it. Thank you very much. And I must say that the relationship bet between India and US there is a huge contribution of the Indian diaspora in that. I mean, if you look at history, you actually even before the government actually played such an important role, the IT outsourcing industry was led by the Indian diaspora. The first generation immigrant engineers who came and uh, found India as a good choice as compared to some of the other you know, countries like Philippines or Ireland where outsourcing used to happen. And thereafter, I think it has never looked back and uh, I would like to first of all thank all the people from India who have made uh, uh, you know this relationship a strong and a very wide ranging today. You know you see today in several spheres Indians are there and this relationship is widening starting from IT today you see this happening in large number of sectors and you see an underlying strain of technology in a lot of this. A lot of this is technology, high-end innovation, knowledge driven. And what would be really great, you know, for this relationship to further blossom is that we will actually see a symbiotic relationship between India and US on the technology side. 
you asked one question who is the ambassador so i just want to answer each and every person living of the diaspora here is the ambassador of an bharat we when we walk into the street we carry the tricolor in our heart so coming to the concluding part of our talk today let's hear from you how the people of diaspora can become part of like you know is there a one way channel where they can because so they don't have to go various different channels because they really want to become the part of this growing india new india emerging india and their contribution to their motherland you know i think this is uh, one time where the opportunities are plenty and one of the big you know several uh, reforms and i would say you know third generation reforms are happening in india where government is actually making it easier for business to business contacts between you know people people to people contact, contact. and that is you know the biggest strength again let me take the example of it outsourcing which happened in the 80s and 90s which is largely attributed to the fact that there were not too many government regulations which came in between i think the blossoming of this new relationship is going to be based on people people and business to business and government uh, increasingly creating a facilitating framework which will enable that and i think uh, mr modi's government is committed and has already shown that a lot of this is happening already <clears throat> he gave a new dimension he gave a new definition ai america and india huh we have been talking about artificial intelligence but he has gone way beyond that and uh, when 2014 he said that people are calling us the land of mouse but the mouse is very different they have to understand that and th- things are coming we really appreciate i think these kind of visits uh, i request is much more needed where community feels confident about giving it back to their motherland what you have to say about that thank you of course i look forward to that and whenever we will have opportunity we'll get a speakers like him it's not not easy to find somebody as knowledgeable in the field he's or she speaks but certainly this is one of our goal and uh, that to bring uh, such people such uh, you know experts and to explain what is happening the speed and the scale of changes in india the opportunities that is those are coming up in india are stupendous so those must be communicated to uh, first of all the indian diaspora that's very important and through them of course the entire united states which is the most critical relationship with us and i would like to thank the consul general for having invited me here uh, it's been also you know one is meeting a dear friend after some time and but more importantly i think this is a very important opportunity where one gets to see a lot of people of indian diaspora people who have done well and today to help them reconnect with the country which they love so much we are the desert for prime minister modi as he said the diaspora is a desert thank you so very much for your precious time we really appreciate that thank, thank you. you thank you, thank you.